Hello all, welcome back to my channel. So today we are back with another algorithm. So here today we'll be discussing about an algorithm which reverses the digits of an integer. Okay, so let us go ahead and see the problem statement and understand uh, in depth like what exactly we are supposed to be doing. So design an algorithm that accepts a positive integer and reverses the order of the digits. So very simple. So for example, here it is given 12,345, our output should be the other way, that is 54,321. Simply, we need to change the order. Whichever is in the last, it should come in the beginning, and in the same order, we will reverse the number. All right. So, what would be the logic for this? Now, how can we reverse a number? So, the very first operation we should be learning is mod operation. Now, this mod operation is nothing but it is written something like this. Now, this is not percentage, this is not division, this is mod operation. Now, how does a mod operation work? Mod operation always returns a reminder. It operates with two operators. For example, if I say 10 mod 2, which is nothing but first I will divide 2 by 10. And when I divide 2 by 10, how much, what is the reminder I'm going to get? Obviously, 2 divides 10 entirely. Hence, there are 0 reminds, reminder. Hence, the 0 is the output of this particular mod operation. Similarly, if I'm saying 7 mod 3. Now, 3 divides 7 2 times. 3 twos are 6 and 1 is the reminder. Hence, 1 is the output of this. Right? I hope this is clear. So, similarly, if I have to give some other example, if I have to say 10 mod 4, if I say 4 divides 10 twice, that is 4 to the 8, and 2 is the reminder, hence 2 is the output. As simple as that. So that is the mod operation. Next is, if at all we have to given, if we are given any number, for example, we will take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now in this situation, I have to extract this first, isn't it? So very simple thing what I can do is use a mod operation. Now what more this number mod what I can take that I will get I can separate this is nothing but I can divide it by 10. So when I do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 mod 10, very simple that 10 divides 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0 times and 5 will be the reminder, isn't it? So this mod will return me 5. Okay, which means I have extracted the last digit. Now I can save it somewhere. Now whenever I'm saving it, okay, this is fine. Next, what I can do, I can simply, now I am done with 5. I need only this number. How do I do that? Once again, I can say that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now if I say divided by 10, what will be the output of this? So when we divide, it is nothing but 10 divides 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4 times and 5 is a reminder. But remember, division always gives, doesn't give the reminder, but it gives that how many times it has divided it. Hence, we are getting this number. So, this is what we wanted. First thing is we want to separate the last digit and then also we want to reduce the number so that next we can take the next number. So, now we know if I want to extract the numbers, from the last, I can use the mod operations. And once I remove that particular number, I can, in order to separate that from the given number, I simply use the divider operator. Now, what happens once I get 1, 2, 4? Now, 1, 2, 3, 4, I have, I can once again use the mod operation, mod 10. Once again, I will get 4 as a reminder, obviously, because 1, 2, 3, 4 is divided by 10, 1, 2, 3 times. So 1, 2, 3 into 10 is 1,230. So 4 is the reminder. Once again, I got 3. Now, how am I going to add it over here? I cannot simply say 5 plus 4. 5 plus 4 will give me a different answer. 5 plus 4 will be 9. But I want it in this format itself. That is 54, I want. So which means as soon as I extract a number, simply I will multiply it with 10. So this will give me 50. Now when I add the next number, I will get 54. Okay, now let us continue. So I have now one, uh, after performing the mod operation, I will perform the division operation, which is nothing but divided by 10, I will, and I will get 1, 2, 3. Now I have 1, 2, 3. Once again, I will use the mod operation, that is 1, 2, 3, mod 10, and I will separate 3. 
because 10 divides 1, 2, 3, 1, uh, 12 times and 3 is the remainder. Now this 3 I can take and add it to 54. Now how will I add it to 54? Once again, whatever the number I have, that is before I had 55, now I have 54 into 10 will give me 540. But when I say 540 plus 3, I will get 543. All right. Now, now 123 divided by 10 will give me 1, 2. Okay. Because 10 divides 123 12 times. That's the reason I'm left with 1, 2. And once again, 12 percentage or mod 10 will give me 2. This 2, I can simply add it to 543. How will I add? 543 into 10 will give me 5430 plus 2 will give me 5432. All right. Now, once again, now uh, uh, 12 divided by 10 will simply give me 12, uh, 10 divides 12 one time, so which is the thing with 1. Now, this 1, I can simply add it to. So, 1 more 10. How, how about 1 more 10? 10 divides 1, 0 times and reminder is 1. Hence, I will get 1. This one can be added here. So, 5, 4, 3, 2 into 10 will give me 5, 4, 3, 2, 0 plus 1 gives me 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, this is the output we were looking for. So, we have started from this and we have reached here. So, in order to do that, we have used mod operation and we have used the percentage as in divide operations and also we have used the multiplication. So let us see the algorithm. So we will say declare the variables number, reverse and last digit. So I have number, reverse, I will write a short form and I have last digit. So initialize reverse to zero. Reverse is where we are going to multiply with 10 and save the uh, digits. And last digit is where we are going to perform the mod operations and they save those digits and number is where the actual value is. Now it says read a number n. Let us read now a different number 535, 534 let me read. Okay, while n is not equal to 0, do the following. Maybe a user wants to enter 0. In that case, we need not do all this. Okay, simply we can print the reverse, which is once again 0 itself. So in case n is not equal to 0, we will do the following. That is last digit is equal to number percentage 10. So last digit is equal to number mod 10, which is nothing but 4. Okay, so when I perform the mod operations, reminder is 4. Now, last digit has the value 4. Now, in reverse, I'm going to say reverse is equals to reverse into 10. So, initially it was 0, which is 0 into 10 is 0 plus last digit, which is nothing but 4. Hence, I will get 4. Then I will say number is equals to number by 10, which is, which is nothing but I will now get 53. Okay, so I'm going to iterate these three steps until I reach n value to zero. Hence, this is my first iteration. In the second iteration, I will do once again, last digit is equals to 53 mod 10. Remember, in now, in this case, now n value has changed to 53. Hence, 53 mod 10. This will give me the value 3 because 10 divides 53 uh, 5 times and the reminder is 3. And then I will say reverse is equals to, reverse has the value 4. So 4 into 10 plus the last digit, which is nothing but 3. Hence, the value will be 43. And then I will say n is equals to 53 divided by 10. And it will give me the value 5. Okay, this is my second iteration. Once again, I will, uh, before going to third iteration, I will check whether my n value has reached zero. No, it has not yet reached zero. Once again, I will say last digit is equals to the number uh, mod 10, which here obviously will give me five. Now, how does it give five? Because 10 cannot divide five entirely. So it uh, divides it zero times. Hence, the reminder is five. Okay, and reverse is equals to, we have 43. So 43 into 10 plus last digit will give me 430 plus 5, which is nothing but 435. And n value is nothing but 5 divided by 10, which is 0. 
now our n value has reached zero. So before going on to the fourth iteration, we will go back and check the condition where I am checking whether n is not equal to zero, but it is not true. n value is zero. Hence, I will come out of this loop and I will directly print the reverse. So in my reverse, I have the value 435. Hence, this is the reverse of the given number. So this is algorithm for reversing the digits of an integer. I hope this is clear. Thank you for watching students. That's all in today's session. Please subscribe my channel and share it with your friends.